Hey everybody, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars for a pick of the day. Today, I've got one of these old Gibson Les Paul Artisans, which are quite amazing guitars when you look at the detail that went into these guys. So this is from 1977. And as you can see, this is the walnut finish. So it's got that stained three-piece walnut top on there. Look at the back, it's the mahogany. Three-piece maple neck with that same walnut stain on it. So this is more or less a glorified Les Paul Custom. It's got the ebony board, it's got the triple binding like the Custom. One thing that stands out on these guitars obviously is that kind of pre-war inlay detail that they've done on these with the hearts and floral design. And you can see just the beautiful inlays on this guy here, the little vines around here and just amazing work on those inlays. Really, really cool. Flip it over here, you've got the volute, indicative of that period in the 70s. And of course the gold hardware all the way around on this. Slightly fading, but still in pretty nice condition. What kind of sets these apart as well, other than the beautiful inlays, it's got the three tarback humbuckers in it. You know, it's a triple pickup Les Paul Custom that's got a bunch of cool custom inlay features on it. Uh, don't see a lot of these around. I've seen uh, my share of black ones and a few of these, the walnut finish ones, but it's always kind of cool to see these. It, it always just kind of reminds me of that Norland era when they were experimenting with a few different models and dressing them up like this. So yeah, this came to us out of a collector's lair down in Portland and I was glad to get it in the shop. They're a fairly weighty guitar. This one's right around 10 pounds, so not completely over the top, but still, you know, three humbuckers, Les Paul Custom, they're all a little bit on the heavy side, so keep that in mind. It's in pretty nice condition for a guitar that's, you know, over, over 40 years old. You can see a couple little dings and bruises in there, but in terms of originality, it's been kept intact. So it's all there. Comes in the original case here, as you can see. One of the latches broken on it, so it's kind of been a little bit of a workhorse for somebody, but never broken, never compromised. Frets are in great shape. Just a, it's a sweet old Les Paul, man. If you want something a little flashy, a little out of the ordinary from a standard or a custom, the artisan, man, this is the way to go. So today we got Aaron Hebert in the house and he's gonna plug this guy into the satellite Cuda head here, which is a great hand-built amp. It's got a pair of EL34s in there pumping 45 watts and it's really got that British tone and breakup that we know and love, kind of reminiscent of an old JTM 45. They do a great job at satellite with these amps. It's got the, the white finish on it and we're running this through a Marshall 1974 CX open back cab with a green back in there. And I'm sure Aaron's gonna rock this thing through the satellite head. So take it away, buddy, it's all yours.
All right, folks, there you have it. An original 1977 Gibson Les Paul Artisan through a satellite Cuda head and a 112 1974 CX Marshall cab. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Click like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you all next time.